What's up everybody, it's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Elite Dangerous. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we actually took our new gunship out for a bit of a test flight and got to get our feet wet a little bit, uh, which turned out pretty good actually. Um, I survived the combat zone a little bit more than I expected to, which was a nice change of pace. Um, although, I was informed, uh, the name escapes me at the moment, but I was informed through the comments that um, the ships in a combat zone, I believe they said were outfitted with um, military grade composite armor, I believe, uh, which is why the weapons seemed ineffective. So, that was kind of a good thing because that means the ships in those areas were pretty heavy duty and they weren't putting up too terribly much of a fight. Um, obviously in swarms they all do, but... Uh, so with that in mind, we're gonna jump in and try and do some bounty hunting today. Um, to do to get a bit more of a feel for how things would normally go in our bounty hunting way of doing things. Uh, with that in, in mind, I did some googling and I found a uh, utility website that is supposed to connect to the Elite Dangerous database and kind of inform you on um, uh, bounty hunting areas around wherever you input and X amount of distance between you. And I found this one, as you can see we have a jump point set up to HR4979. According to the utility, it is a pretty good one. Um, we're looking at um, the, the, the systems at war at the moment already, so that's kind of a good sign for bounty hunting and whatnot. Though it could mean more conflict zones than resource extraction sites, but I believe the economy was either a colony or um, or a resource or an extraction uh, economy, which is good. And it lists a couple locations close to the primary star area. Um, so we're going to head over that way and see if this utility thing works out, because if it is, I am bookmarking that site, because that'll be really nice. Um, regulate, your speed, eh, regulate my speed. Yeah, it's optional. Um, sorry, I wasn't sure what he was saying there for a minute. I wasn't sure if I was getting in trouble for anything. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head over there, it's gonna take me a couple jumps, and when I get there, we'll take a peek and see what we're working with. So I will see you guys in a second. So, in terms of resource extraction sites, I think this one's pretty good. Now, the only thing here, so far, that I'm seeing that might be an issue is that the closest, um, dock point is this outpost at 2700 light seconds. Not a big deal, uh, but it's a little bit of a clip away, so I don't know. We might want... I think for now I'm just gonna jump into a resource site that's close by and just play around a bit and see what we can come up with. Ooh, that is really close to the sun. Maybe. Unless that's... Oh, it's on the other side. Okay, I was like, wait a minute, that's... That's like super close. Anyways. And it's possible when we get over to there, I wouldn't think 38 would be far enough away, but it's possible that if we got over there, it might show up another station. Not sure, I don't think so. But anyways, we're gonna get in here and see what we can find. So I'll be back once again in a second. I just thought the, the whole panel lighting up with resource sites was kind of funny. Okay, so it took me a couple of resets, but I think I finally got a good one because I just loaded in and we already got an anaconda, which is great. Um, let's see, we have an expert level. That's cool. Uh, let's see if we can get some more info on their bounty. Man, a condo can outrun me? Man, these things are a tank. Uh oh. Why am I not boosting? He's gonna run. I might just light him up. Keep him from running. There we go. Okay, uh, I should probably get my fighter out as well. Um, I did change up my pilot, and I'll go into that in a little bit. Crap, this is not going well. Um, it was also recommended to me to set... Oh, no, crap! Critical. Not sure how much longer I can hold out. I didn't mean to do that. Um, 
What's happening exactly right now? Okay. I think I just jumped into a dead ship. So I don't know that the game knows what to do. Interesting. Okay, so that was kind of a bit of a, a fiasco there. So, not exactly uh, the right way of doing things at all. But what I'm doing at this point is we're going to try and do this the right way. Scanning, please. There we go. Okay. Um, now, I reset my fighter actually to engage at will because I was actually informed. Um, I was actually informed that if you leave it on defend, it will only shoot at things that actually attack you. Um, and if nothing attacks you, then it won't do anything. So, apparently engage at will is kind of like a bit of both. It, it'll attack any hostile target, so as soon as something shoots you, they become hostile, and as soon as you shoot something else, it becomes hostile. Um, so, it makes sense. I didn't know the orders worked that way, but... Um, it's a good idea. Uh, it's a federal agent. Um, we got lucky there. I wasn't really sure how this was gonna go. I see a lot of... Wait, crew. Oh! I was like, wait, what? Um, I see a lot of cobras and eagles and stuff. I'm not too thrilled about that. I had a good spawn, I thought, with the anaconda there, but I ended up having to quit out of the game, because, like I said, I think I jumped in right as the ship was being blown apart. Uh, the little fighter, because I hit the wrong button. Um, so I don't think that was how that was supposed to go. Uh, but now, unfortunately, when I load it in, this is just a bunch of... a bunch of junk kind of thing. The only good one was a federal agent. Uh, let's see if we can't maybe clear out some of these guys, or are these all part of the... I think they're part of the wing. Yeah. Okay. Well, for one federal ship out here, he's scanning me an awful lot. I may either fly around here. Good grief, dude. I'm not hostile. Give it a break. Um, I don't know if I actually logged out and logged back in if my ship, if my fighter stays deployed or not. I'm not too sure about that, so. Um, screw it, we're gonna try it. So I'm gonna reset this instance and see if I can get some better ships now that we have a better handle on, like, we should launch our fighters first, fighter, uh, and we're gonna see if I log out with one active what it does. So I'll be back in just a second yet again. Okay, so I'm hoping we got a good one. I went through quite a few lemons, but we spawned in here with a, um, Ferdy. Which, you can tell I flew one for a while because I just loaded in and I saw the twin turbines on the back and I'm like, that looks like a fertile ants. So that was kind of funny. Um, and it does look like the fighter stays deployed when you log in and out. However, it does seem to have changed my uh, orders for him back to a default of defend. So keep that in mind if you do what I did where you're, you're loading in and out. Um, so we'll set him to fire at will. Going on the offense. And then wait for him to turn around. Oh, he's getting hit already. Cool. I don't know how the, uh, the gunship stacks up in terms of, like, speed and stuff compared to something like the Ferdy. I don't know if he can outrun me or not. He probably can. I do love when they do that. It's like, I'm not after your cargo, dude. I'm after your bounty. Wow, okay. So yeah, there is a fairly large difference um, between the combat zone targets and the bounty hunting ones, because the chain guns on this seem to, like, chew through that by comparison. So that is pretty cool. Uh, still not too impressed with the uh, pickings here though, I gotta say. Like, we're not really getting anything good. I went through probably five or six resets 
And I still just end up with a ton of cobras and a ton of eagles and like just a bunch of fluff. What's going on over here? in just in case he dies before I can finish the scan. Sweet. Yeah, that wasn't much better. <laughs> we didn't do much either, so, you know, whatever. Um, see, it's just eagles, vipers, like, there's not a lot of good ships to go after. But, like I said, I'm kind of getting frustrated in terms of, like, I've been looking and I just can't find one. Normally, the and I don't know if it's uh, maybe because I had my ship out that it's kind of like holding the instance open and it's not actually resetting very well. I don't know if that's a thing. Ooh, I thought, please don't be a system authority. I had that happen a couple of times where I was like, yay, cool, and then it ended up being a fed. I was like, dang it. System authority vessel, like that. Mm. Get my hopes up. should come up like this in the thing, not, mm, not like the other thing. Alright, I guess we'll go after it. Yeah, I'm kind of wanting to like do something today, and so I wanted to go after some of these guys, but um, I just can't get a good spawn today. I don't know what it is, but I went through, I literally reloaded probably at least six, maybe closer to eight or ten. Um, and it just, every time, it was like a few cobras, a few eagles, and it was like, I just wasn't getting anything. So I don't know if they've changed their, uh, algorithm or anything to the instance loading type thing. To where it either doesn't work that way anymore, or, I don't know, something. Uh, but I was not getting a very good set out of these, so... We might have to just make up for... Uh, quality with quantity today. I don't know. And it might not be a bad thing because it'll let me get a little more used to um, my new ship and stuff. I will say, I don't know if it's the just the fact that we're dealing with relatively smaller ships or what, but it does kind of seem to, to cut through armor and stuff pretty good. I cannot say that thus far I'm disappointed with the with the damage output of the of the gunship setup. Um, and as as weapons and hard points go, we can always play around with uh, with those settings if we want to do anything different. Um, personally, I'm liking the multiple lasers and then the four multi cannons. I've seen a couple things online that were set up a little differently. Uh, one was doing. I think it only had like two or three. Um, it only, I think it only had like two or three lasers, pulse lasers, just for. Man, I couldn't even get him. Um, I couldn't even get to him before they blew him up. But yeah, I saw a couple of them that were a little different, more focused on chain guns, on the multi cannons kind of thing. I personally like more of a laser focus, only because if you. Um, if you happen to be good on your shields and armor and stuff, but you're out of ammo, you can still do more, um, you can still do more lasers, because they're basically infinite ammo, um, type of thing. So, I, I tend to like to have my heavier duty weapons, uh, my larger hard points, stuff like that. Um... I, I tend to like those to be lasers of some kind, pulse, beam, something. Um, just so if I'm running on no no reload ammo type stuff, I can still do a decent job. He's not going to be wanted. Nope. And I'm also surprised too at how many uh, ships and stuff in the extraction zones today have not been wanted. They're They're like a bunch of actual miners kind of thing. Um, that's fairly uncommon to me. Like, I don't see that real often. But another thing I wanted to point out, I could be wrong, but I think it looks like they've updated their graphics, maybe, for asteroid fields 
Am I wrong? Let me know what you guys think. Have I just not been playing for a while and I just haven't run across... It just seemed like the asteroids and lighting and stuff were a bit more detailed. I know they had talked about doing a graphical overhaul sometime in the near future, but I didn't think it was... I didn't think it was up yet. Don't be a system, don't be a system, don't be... Ah, we got one! Please be wanted, please be wanted. Maybe? Ooh, he is wanted, and he's in a gang. What do we got here? Clippers? Pythons and clippers. Ooh. Uh, I want to take these guys on so bad. Because all I see is dollar signs. Uh, but that, I'm definitely gonna, you know what? YOLO. Let's, let's get past him. I want to get up on behind him because clippers are pretty weak from the back. generally don't have good... Well, that's one thing I learned from flying a clipper for a while, is clippers in general just don't have good shielding coverage. Oh boy, I can't believe I'm lighting them up. Alright. I just hope that there's some system guys around here that can kind of cover my butt, or that my uh, fighter does some really crazy Poe Dameron type stuff over here. I would totally 100% hire a pilot if his name was like Poe. Even if it wasn't Poe Dameron, just Poe, that would just be awesome. Ooh, I'm on a fire, Commander. Taking yeah, damage. he's not doing good. Whew. Are we doing okay? I don't think we're doing good. Hull is a 50, Commander. This ship is almost toast. Can't take any more hits. Fighter is destroyed. We need to get... Sorry, I'm not doing much talking. I'm... Wait, what? Oh, fighter assembly. I was like... Ooh, there's nobody around me right now. That's not good. I really wanted... <laughs> I was really hoping some system guys would show up by now. <laughs> okay. Roger that. Initiating SLF deployment. Why is the orders not changing? There we go. Systems online. Ready for action. Ooh! He got his shields down. Oh no, he ran. Did he run into something? And I know everybody keeps telling me that the. Uh, oh, I ran into something. Good job. <gasps> he took out the clipper! Or one of the clippers. Nice job, dude! Oh, okay, there's feds involved now. <laughs> that makes way more sense. I was like, dang, go... Go... Fighter, dude. Okay, that's not what I want. Where'd he go? There you are. No, didn't mean to use the shield cells on that one, Rudd. I should have actually scanned all of them first. I didn't even think about that, but I should have actually scan them before I started fighting and that way we wouldn't have to do it mid-fight. Whoops, I got kind of a little trigger happy there. Wow, they are not playing around. Okay, chaff's annoying. Still annoying, that has not changed in case anyone was wondering. Still really aggravating. Ooh. I didn't have commander. Scanning for additional threats. So, it didn't handle that phenomenally terribly well, but it was pretty cool. We actually took all them out. That was really funny, though. That was totally a, um... That was almost a, um... Movie is, oh, Saving Private Ryan with Tom Hanks in the tank kind of thing shooting it with a pistol type of thing. That was totally what that was. I was like, oh, my fighter just took out a clipper. And then you turn around and there's just like a million lasers coming out of everywhere from the feds. And you're like, oh, or or they helped a little, I guess. That's another option. Alrighty. So there's one. Where's his wing man, though? Where's the other one? 
guessing it's this one, since everybody's shooting it. Oh, I hear it blowing up. Yep, he's toast. Okay, okay. And we're back to eagles and stuff again. Looks like. But not doing too bad. Uh, the survivability of the gunship is a little better than I expected. I got kind of distracted with the, um, with the fake out thinking my fighter blew up a clipper thing, but I meant to say, I know everybody keeps telling me that the gunship is an armor tank type thing. I just have kind of a, a big pet peeve. Well, not really pet peeve. Paranoia, I guess, is probably more accurate than pet peeve. But it's like, I just don't like my shields going down, because kind of like the thing with lasers and ammo, if my shields go down, you know, eventually they'll come back, kind of thing. But the hull, I can't really do much about until I dock somewhere. So I really don't like the hull taking much damage if I can help it. Um, ow, he says as he runs into things. Alright, little fighter dude, come take on your smaller eagle counterpart. Is hitting me. Something's got rockets. Something definitely has rockets. Alright, this is not good because I don't really care about that eagle. I want to get whatever is hitting me with rockets. Dude, seriously, what is this thing? I can't get around on him. I mean, I know I have everything in the systems, but that's because he's shooting me. key for um, nearby hostels. I guess I don't. Or I don't remember it. One of the two. Alright. Target down. Well that could have gone better. Could have gone worse, but could have gone better. Uh this guy took a hit from something. So many system guys and nothing to shoot at. That's my problem with this right now. Like, if there's a queue or something, it's probably like entirely being filled up by system authority vessels, which is kind of annoying. It's like, stop taking up all my targets. Ooh, there we go. That'll do. Alright, so he is wanted. There's another clipper in here. I guess they're not in a wing. I expected him to be part of a wing. need to get into range. I will say that um, since I'm running unmodified I haven't been to any engineers or anything like that. Um, she does run a little on the sluggish side in terms of just top speed type of thing. Hello. I'll go deal with that other clipper after if it survives the system guys. not that military grade composite stuff. Alright, is that other one still around here? No, it looks like they took it out. Target destroyed. So we're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad. Um, unfortunately, like I said, we're not really getting any huge, like, you know, we're not getting a ton of anacondas or anything like that, but... Um, overall, we're not doing too terribly bad. I, 
think I had cleared all my bounties, so this should give us an idea. 87... Well, HR 49 Union, so that's just since we've been here, so we're up to 675 on just those, on just that faction. Uh, 45, 50, so that's 7, 70. Let's round up and say 8, 50? 9, so we're close to a million, uh, which isn't bad. For, uh, for considering the, um, kinds of ships that we're getting and that we don't have a lot of, uh, don't have a steady stream of of nice big ships to take out. Uh, what is that? Is that a trail? I can't tell. But yeah, the um, when I when I first jumped in here and saw something like this, I was like the sun and asteroid stuff. It really almost looks like they've done. Oh, and this planet over here. Uh, this guy over here looked very Star Wars esque, kind of thing. Um. Yeah, I have a little bit of Star Wars on the brain. I did go see The Last Jedi on the premiere night, so that was pretty awesome. Uh, hence the Poe Dameron references and stuff like that. It was kind of one of those, like, it's been kind of in the in the back of my noggin for a couple of days now. But what are you doing over here? You don't seem like you're wanted. You're hanging around too many system guys and not being shot at. Oh, you are! My goodness! Right under your nose, guys. What are you guys doing? Waiting for me to sniff them out for you? I mean, I don't mind as long as I get part of the cut. Totally starting to sound like a mercenary. <laughs> I don't mind if you guys kill them. I just want part of the part of the cut. Yeah, having the um, having the fighter on um, engage at will is a really good idea. I didn't know that's how the orders work, but now that I know, it's definitely helpful to have him just kind of hanging out, and if something shoots you, he'll attack, but otherwise, if you attack something, he'll go for that, too. It's just kind of another layer of... Ooh, for kill. Not bad. Alright, do we have anything else going on? Nothing. There's like an eagle, and then there's just like a crap ton of security vessels. Let's go check out this cluster over here. Let's see what's coming into the system. You have anything valuable for me? Somebody's scanning me that's definitely a pirate. Oh, that's just debris, I guess. I wish they would do um, these blips that you don't know what they are. I wish they would stay white if they're like a debris thing and you just don't know what kind of debris or something, and then if it's actually a ship it'd be yellow. I feel like that gets confusing. I don't know. Maybe it fits into the whole you don't know what ship it is, but to me it gets a little confusing. You're like, oh, there's a bunch over there, and then when you get over it like that, it's just a bunch of debris from something else that you blew up previously, and you're kind of like, oh, well. I could have saved myself some time and not flown over there. But what are you gonna do? Seriously, like, there's not even any new ships coming in at the moment. I might have to blow up this eagle just to give me something to do. Assuming it's more than enough, of course. are a little annoying though with their speed sometimes. <laughs> I am curious, this might actually be a good test of how the fighter does when dealing with the eagles because I have a really hard time with them because they're so maneuverable so I'd actually like to see if he does a lot of work on it or not. Wow, okay, beam laser does work on those things. <laughs> that took like half of his health. That was great. Dispatched. I think that's all uh, good work, Commander. Yeah, that's all we got. That's all we got to work with. Viper. So I guess this is just gonna be a slow day at the office, apparently. Your system guy. I'm starting to be able to tell by their markings, these blue and white. Oh, Ferdy! Ferdy's not gonna be. System guys wouldn't ride a Ferdy, would they? Nope. 
Oh, come on. Oh, it got out of my scanning range. I thought it jumped. I was like, no! It didn't jump, did it? <laughs> oh, there's a conda. Conda and a furry. Now we're talking. Oh, kind of part of a wing. Ah, screw it. Go big or go home, right? Well, actually, we... I'm just gonna scan them both. I make the same mistake twice. Blomskunk. Okay, that's a name for you. against my better judgment, but we're going after the, the, um, the condo, I think. Why not? YOLO! And I normally wait to, to take, to use my chain guns until the shields are down, but frankly with a big ship like a condo, I think I'm just gonna go all hands on deck and just give it everything I got. That is another nice thing that, it, at least just damage-wise, um, if the if the shields were like starting to reach, oh, I'm getting hammered. Oh, I got him sandwiched. Once again, because I've got everything in the shields to keep myself alive, I can't put everything into engines in order to actually. Um, oh, you know what? Those. Since I've got them, might as well use them. Okay. So that's going rather well. We're not doing too bad. All things considered, that we're getting, you know. I'm on a fire, Commander. Taking damage. Getting shot in the face. I really thought I had... Oh, it is! Okay, it was detecting the guy's missiles the last time I tried to use that hotkey. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. And once again, we probably got a little bit of a save from the, um... Wait. Blomskug? I thought that was the, uh, the Fertilance. Is that not the Fertilance? I wonder if that Fertilance is still out here, if they took him out already. Come here. Alright, he's toast. Confirmed kill. Uh, McCarthy was the Fertilance. Okay, and you're still around here. Well, it's my lucky day. Well, anyways, since there's nothing else in here of note, I think we're going to chalk that up as a win. Had a couple of cl close calls, but when we actually used everything the ship had to offer, we didn't do too bad. So I think we're going to wrap things up here, let me get back to the station, and then we'll close out this episode. Alrighty, so we have arrived here at... I don't... I I I Iqbal? I Iqbal? I'm not really... Not really sure how you're supposed to say that. Um, so unfortunately, this might not be a place where I stay because the restock is unavailable here because it's just an outpost. So that's kind of unfortunate. I didn't know that when I came here. Um, so we may not end up staying here. So we got a million, almost a million flat, but a little, a little bit over. Which, considering the little peon-type ships we were dealing with most of the time, that wasn't actually too bad. But it did give me a, yet again another bit of a feel for. Um, kind of how to how the bounty hunting stuff would go, ways to balance and stuff, and uh, for using the fighter and uh, you know whether or not I'm gonna need my shield cells a lot, which I did use two of them a couple times with the bigger ships. So I do like having those available. Um, but in the meantime, I think we're gonna wrap things up here for this episode. If you guys know of any place that's also close by to Shinrarda, um. I think I'm like 15 light years away. It was two jumps or three jumps or something for me. 
Um, but if you guys know of any other better places at the moment, let me know. Uh, but for now, I think we're going to wrap things up here for today. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace.